I realize that we do not want to use their forms in regards to the foundation bank account. One can use the WABEN for the office, the person operating for the beneficial be beneficiary, beneficial interest holder, and attached with an attached affidavit or use of the declaration that was attached to the passport application. This can be presented to the bank at the time of opening the account when using the passport as ID. Correct. The executive director and managing director profile is recorded and why not have it be recognized as a state citizen as a foreign to the United States? Well, good luck. I mean, I, I'm i not saying that facetiously. I'm saying that that's awesome if you, that's what you're able to do or pull off. Um, there's other structures that I do within opening up a bank account with a local bank. Uh, making the presumption that a United States citizen, which is what their signature card bank agreements are all making, that it's 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 a different jurisdiction than the United States of America. So this is why I sign my forms, bank signature agreements, sign the forms, non assumption in caps and cursive, whatever, um, to complete the action of engaging an account, opening an account, but having no jurisdiction over the account. Or you can do it your way and and you're going to spend four to six hours there. And I, if you get it accomplished, done. Um, but here's the problem at a bank is they're going to say, well, let me see your foreign designation passport. And you're going to pull out a United States of America passport and they're going to say you're a U.S. citizen. Then you're going to show them your documents and then they're going to bring their documents to the legal department at your bank and you're going to get denied. Potentially. I'm not saying it can't work, but you've got to have the flexibility of somebody that's going to be willing to designate in law that there's a difference between the United States and the United States of America. And a bank is not going to do it. This is why we do the accounts the way that we do them is so we can get the account established with no jurisdiction open as a private trust or foundation where they don't have jurisdiction over the type of account it is. Um, and with proper designation uh, as falling under 501A because it's the account of the entity, not you necessarily, that is all that matters. Um, give them this social. It's the red, it belongs to the registered organization, not you. Make sure the social's on the uh, profile of the account, not on the account directly, and sign the account, not a subset, all rights reserved, or sign it with the word buy in front of your signature with your full living signature with the words non assumpted underneath but reserving your rights. And that way you're, you know, I've told you guys how I've opened up accounts, crossing out US citizen, US person. So the question is, is what is the difference of going through six hours of trying to get somebody who's ultimately gonna say no because you're gonna pull out a US passport or passport card versus reserving all your rights or completely not giving jurisdiction with the words not a sunset on the signature card. What is the difference? I'd rather have mine with no jurisdiction on a signature card, having an account established, because again, the account is what they have jurisdiction over, which is none. It's a non-jurisdictional position, meaning they don't, it's not a registered entity. It's not a public entity, it's private. So um, that's why I would do it my way, but I'm giving you kudos, Donna, if you're able to get the account open your way, um, I just don't see it happening. I very rarely, like maybe one in, 20 see that something like that go down